Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for December 21st, 2010. On the Nasdaq 10-day chart, it's uh, starting to get kind of hard to uh, hard to tell if there's a fifth wave up or a beginning of a third wave. Um, I'm guessing it's a f beginning of a fifth wave up because of how shallow this retracement was, this zigzag was, in the, in the previous uh, five days. But uh, we rallied after, after gapping and fading into the close and then faded again. So... If there's a large gap up rally, then that, that would obviously be a third wave. And um, if there's a gap down, then it'd be a fifth wave. If it goes sideways, then there's still a possibility of a, of a continuation of a fifth wave. But um, in either case, it's hard to uh, to say whether it's going to be a third or fifth wave right, right now because of how choppy it is. SPX. This one is more defined. But the retracement here looks like a four, and this looks like a five. If I'm if if my guess is if it's a five is right, then we're gonna gap down and probably retrace to as low as twelve thirty twelve thirty three to the downside. But if um but if, uh, if it ends up turning to a third wave, it would gap we'd gap up tomorrow and have a really powerful rally. For the Dow, this is coiling up right now. It looks like a triangle, a nascent triangle. But we need to close above eleven thousand five twenty to set it to set up a five or a three. It's uh, pretty sideways, and I'm I'm guessing since the everybody's gonna be on vacation, it's gonna be leaving um, early for vacation for Christmas. The volume's gonna lighten up a lot, which is typical of the end of the year, and it could be really light until um, beginning of January. And the volume should come back in, in full force in January, and my guess is that we might have. A, a corrective two to retrace the recent um, rally off the July lows. That's my guess. That's a wrap.